Hey Karen, you know what would be really cool? No, what? Creating your own paints from scratch. Don't you think I have enough? I could just buy paints from the store. But making your own is totally different. Why don't you research it? Okay, okay, let me do some research. Let me see. How to make paint pigments. This looks complicated. I don't think I can do this. But it would be amazing to use your own paints in your art. Why don't you try? You're right. Let me see. I can try. But I don't have some of these materials. It says here that making pigments is one of the most ancient techniques. They use plants, flowers, minerals. You know what? I have an idea. I know exactly what I can use. I collected a lot of it this summer. Burnt wood from a fire can make the most beautiful colors. I was able to collect both black and gray charcoal from the ashes of my fire pit. My challenge was grinding the bigger pieces. I tried using a mallet, but I was not strong enough to crush the bigger pieces. I felt frustrated because I don't have as much strength in my hands due to my arthritis, but I really wanted to make these pigments. Then it occurred to me that I have an old coffee grinder, and so I was able to grind them into fine powder using it. But the job wasn't done. It takes many steps to create these powders and a lot of patience, which is not a strong suit of mine. Once you have the powder, you need to strain the larger pieces out. I strained it straight into a mortar and I saved the larger pieces as I knew I wanted to save them for another project. I used several different sized strainers to get smaller pieces out of the powder. The powder still needs to be grinded even further, and so I use the pestle to make sure it comes very smooth and fine. The smoother it is, the smoother the paint will be. I used glass jars to store the powders. I also kept large charcoal pieces which I used to make the most beautiful markings and shadings in my journal. Now it was time to make the actual paints and figure out what products work best. I knew that if I wanted to make acrylic paint, I needed to mix the powder with fluid medium. So that's the first thing I tried. And although it mixed well, the mixture was so thick, it didn't feel like acrylic paint. It felt more like a paste, which I was eager to try too, but it was not what I wanted. You see, I had done lots of research about how to make paints, so I didn't know what I had done wrong. On one of the videos I researched, they had mixed everything on a glass mat the way I'm doing here. But I realized I don't really like the way this is mixing, and then it dawned on me that I actually forgot to add water. So I started again, added water, fluid medium and powder. But in my eagerness, I had added too much water. You see, in my research, there was no quantities, just ingredients. And I'm not a chemist after all, I'm an artist. But third time's a charm. I mixed a little at a time and got the right combination. I felt like Goldilocks in the story of the three little bears when her porridge was just right. Once I had both colors of paints mixed, I started playing. I took two small canvases and just painted randomly for an abstract painting. It was just for fun. I wasn't thinking, I was just creating. I wanted to tell my story. 
there's something to be said about making your own pigment powders. Although I knew it would take me a long time to make them, the process of crushing, pressing, and grinding was liberating, as I didn't have to think, and the repetitive movement allowed me to relax and let all my worries melt away. It's important to note that these paints are not perfect like store-bought paints. They might be grainy from the powder, but truthfully I love that even more as the texture is fantastic. It makes it even more uniquely me. Depending on where you live, you can create pigments from the soil around you. For example, in Arizona, the sand can make beautiful red or orange pigments following this same exact process. Once I applied both colors, I wanted to see how they would react with regular acrylic paint. And all I can say is, wow! First I added red, as I love how it looks with black. And then, I gave the painting some golden touches. These canvases might look very abstract, but the journey of making them has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. That's why I created another canvas and tested the paints with some white acrylic paint as well. Painting with something you've created from scratch is so rewarding. It's not only about putting your heart and soul into your art, but it is as if your soul is part of your art, because it's in each grain you pressed and grinded. When we are creating a painting, we're telling a story through art using paintbrushes, palette knives, and paints. But this painting is so much more meaningful because I use my own handmade paints. The journey of making those paints is a story on its own, and creating with them is a story within the story, life within life. But even if you don't make your own pigments, there's still many ways to be connected to your artwork. I can show you how to use materials from around your house or from nature that can help you create amazing stories through art. Click this short playlist right here and you'll be amazed how such simple products can help you create amazing art.